Hey everybody, welcome back to Starfire Gaming. I am Sir Joseph, and this is episode 55 of our Let's Play Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. We are in Green Gates. With the map here, we got this area here to explore. I, this might be explorable as well. And then we can go inside this building here and do some more exploring. So let's do that. Let us be off. As a friend of mine says there may be gold that needs to be rescued out here. Something over there. That's not so bad loot. Book Old Sicarian Diary. What's that? Uh, not quite what I had in mind there. Um, uh, let's just. Uh, we'll jiff. Something You're up. wrong. Watch and learn. This is my kind of work. There we go. And a chest. Pretty good, aren't I? Well, we got us a nice belt. Don't need the padded armor. Physical protection plus two, or perfection plus two. That's a strength, con, and dexterity. <sighs> Let's give that to us. Plus two strength. that on her strength and dex that's a good thing for him plus two dex this is dex and con let's give that to lan and then we'll just forget the plus two dex actually let's change that let's this back because wool jiff is usually more in the front all righty so that's that's that there's nothing to explore down there let's move Because of this trap, I don't want to pop out here. We're going to go the long way around so we can go one by one past this trap. Because if we try to do the, the physical thing here, it'll pop us all right on top of that trap, and that would be a bad bad thing to have happen. 
I stand ready. Follow me. Or I'll just walk through the trap that way. Didn't seem to hurt, so I guess that's good. And I got that auto heal going. I March on. don't get it. Don't mind it. Don't get it. All right, into the belfry. Oh, that was a quick into the belfry. All right. I thought there might be more here than just one room. That's some magic stuff. What's this? Dinosaur bones. All right, let's see what we picked up. Demon's Terror Flail. Plus two speed radiant flail. Grants wielder plus four attack bonus on the first attack against a new demon. What's the speed do? Making a full attack, the wielder of a speed weapon makes one extra attack with it. Oh, radiant. Extra D6 positive energy on a successful hit. Oh, well, this might be uh, her new weapon. Let's see. Lens first hit. Fortitude saving throw becomes stunned. DC is only 15 on the fort save. I mean, it's nice. Oh, I think that I think the flail is going to be the better weapon. is my kind of work. Magic boots. Let's see. These boots grant the wearer a permanent effect of freedom of movement spell. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's just throw that right on to Joseph. Now reunited with its clapper, produces a gentle, melodic ringing. All right, let's go ahead and uh, head on out. We have completed this area This is the way out. Come on, Blue. Hey, Blue gets stuck over there evidently a lot. There's Blue. Ugh, excuse me, make sure I didn't leave anything behind. That's just a regular blade. All right. 
Molten Scar we have to explore. Winter Sun we have to explore. Still got all of this area up here. We got some roads we can explore. We got ruins of the Ashbury Hamlet. Scrubland in the bend of the river. Dragon Grimwood Way over there. Ivory Sanctum. Molten scar. Right, let's let's see if this is going to be too tough for us. Ah, yes, you're kitty kitty. Not that big of an area. everywhere not ominous at all feathered beast I'll choke all of you get your talons off me Some rocks doing stuff Thomas, what have they done to you? You monsters, beasts. Now get the second one over here. The wrong Do not speak. Do not waver. Did you see that? Good job, Brock. Brock. <laughs> Lan. Good job, Lan. Mind over muscle. Here, don't want to use up all of them before we get to the main fight. Just will delay. Let's do this one. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Light. Shocking grass, pure piecing scream. It's like basically anything I've got, it looks like. Volcanic storm. Controlled fireball. Well, that's nice. Only hurts them. Fireball. Uh, 
Alright, evidently that was useless. Another rock. No glory without risk. Be gone, fiend. Ah, of course. You won't survive me. Greater teleport that far. All right. Cover me, all right? Don't you just die already? Just gonna. <sighs> I'll remove this obstacle. <laughs> Missed on a five. The light take you. Fall. Zap you. Why not both? You're irrelevant. The inheritor, guide my blade. I will bring down the divine wrath. Nice job. Onwards. Be in talks, huh? Huh? Oh, yes, what? A large frock looks at you, craning her disgusting bald neck. Her piercing screech sounds menacing. Who are you? Do you want to become demons too? Frocks will transform you right away. Who are you? The Vrock sticks her chest out and spreads her massive black wings. Voramirak! Wise Vrock! Magical Vrock! Snatcher of pathetic humans! Maker of demons! Other Vrock said, Voramirak was dumb. Leave chicken head, they said. And Voramak became the favorite student of wise Xanthir, the plagued one. And now, making demons out of humans. Who is dumb now? Drops of saliva fall out of the animal's beak, carrying the stench of death. What are you doing here? Unblinking bird eyes stare at you. Voramak is making an army. She sends her flock to get humans. Silly crusaders at night. The ones she steals, she transforms. Makes good demons with sharp teeth. Who will kill you? Ah ha 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 ha! The Vrock bursts into shameless, screeching laughter as she looks at her deformed prisoners. Why, Xanthir the Plagued One told her to fly here and gather an army, harm humans. He doesn't have time to do it himself. He is busy reading and thinking. He said he would give the Vrock horrific power like the strongest demons have. Why, Xanthir, the Plagued One, knows the secret, how to pour more power into demons. When he rewards the Vrock, she will tear off the heads of everyone who banished Vorimarak. And with the others, she will hunt you from the skies, pathetic humans. <laughs> 
let me get this straight. You served a wise mage, but he sent you somewhere far away. Here, with a very important task? I can't imagine what possessed him to do that. Who could refuse such a passionate and quick-witted helper? I'm sure he's lost without you. The rock laughs, tr laughs triumphantly. Stupid mortal! Why, Xanthrir, the plagued one would never get lost. He's too clever. Where did you learn to turn demons or humans into demons? The Vrock shows you her wrinkled red fist. A piece of paper is clenched in it, smeared with soot and blood. Old knowledge. The wise Vrock read it and did it. The savvy tiefling has seriously has serious doubts that the Vrock has ever read anything in her entire life. The savvy tiefling thinks that the Vrock is telling fibs. Making demons out of humans? Oh, how fascinating. I've never heard of such a transformation before. A sheet of paper and a pencil appear in Nino's hand. My dear colleague, please share your valuable, valuable experience with me. How do you do it? Even a broad outline would be most welcome. The Vrock, uh, the Vrock walks around, flapping her wings, snapping her beak, chitter-chattering the strange words. And all the while, the little human's bones wriggle out of their skins. Their eyes pop out of their sockets. Their tongues flop out of their mouths, all blue. Just as it's written, that's what happens. Nino frowns, looking unconvinced. Allow me to challenge your account, Madame Brock, and engage in a scholarly debate with you. It is extremely unlikely that any reputable scientific work you would find the word chitter chatter an indignant screech bursts from the demon the vrock is wise the vrock could not read the scritch scratches but xanthir the plagued one ordered the vrock to get the silver tongued elf who knows ancient words and he translates everything he was screaming in pain while Xanthir was eating him. See if we can automatically see the bluff. Possibly get the the the, the intimidate. Do the bluff. The Vrock is truly wise. The Vrock clucks happily and starts bragging, shedding her caution. Voramarak is the wisest of Vrocks. Voramarak is Ravuk. It means very smart. Have you seen the wide gates of the world she opened? This is, this is to have more power flow here, to make bigger demons out of stupid humans with bigger teeth. Why, Xanthahir, the plagued one, ordered me to relieve you. Give me the page and fly quickly to get your reward. Ah, oh, failed. The Vrock clucks happily, but then looks at you with suspicion and anger. You are lying. You are afraid of the Vrock, hoping for mercy. You can't fool the Vrock. Give me the paper or I'll scatter your bird brains all over the rocks. That one also failed. The rock opens her beak wide and lets out an ear splitting shriek. Your eyes come close. The rock will peck out your eyes, tear out your tongue, claw out your pathetic heart. Uh, surrender. If you tell me everything you know, I won't kill you on the spot. The demon snaps her beak greedily. The Vrock will make an army, and wise Xanathir, the plagued one, will give, him, give her power in return. 
huge power. He taught the Brock to make rifts and said he will give even more power. And Brocks will transform you well. You will you'll be a good demon, an angry demon, a toothy one. We will be victorious. Well, there's two Brocks. Make every strike count. Distract them for me. Missed on a seven. But we're out of those. Uh, let's put out a resistance. We won't fall. Ah, the rock pillager's tough. Into the fray. Doesn't help that I keep missing on sevens. Eternal Rose, I call upon you! Oh, that, that was a lot of stuff. The light, take you! Oh, God. Ah, that was bunk. That was bunk of the bunkiest order. Got to be kidding me. That was terrible. That didn't heal. God, that was a cure last. Ah, that sucked. Strike with all your might! Uh, I should use my back seat. Oh, come on! You've got to be kidding me! No glory without risk! Finally, that was. You won't survive me! Four mirror images. Almost out of power. It's done. Single one through the spell resistance. Endure this. Cover me, all right. Be gone, fiend. Holy smokes. Oh, 
Lots of magic. Page smeared with blood and suit. The paper is old and is stained black with blood in places. Someone has written over the ancient elven ruins in blood. Just one fragment in the corner is readable. Not a portal, but a soft spot in the space in the world. Many gods and demons have the power to open such a rift, but doing this will not be to their liking, so they will leave the request unanswered. Therefore, one should. The text is covered in the rock's blood. That's where we needed to get the uh, success on those things to make him, uh, to make her give him, to give it to us. We would have gotten the whole thing. Amulet of Mighty Fists. Yep, you got better. Plus one rings of protection. All right. Avengers Ring. Whenever the wear of this ring becomes a target of an attack of opportunity, the attacker suffers a D8 force damage. Let's give that to her. Jana Aldori. raises her eyes to you. She is deathly pale, either from exhaustion or terror. You don't know. Night Commander, it's you! Janna, by the gods! Come on, look alive. We're gonna get you out of here. How did you wind up here? I got lost. I lost my way when I ran. I walked and walked with no food, and then the Vrox came and... The girl shudders and peers around with haunted eyes. Did they perform the ritual on you? The one they did on the two captured crusaders? Not before you got here, but they said I'd be next. And I couldn't do anything. I just had to watch and wait. So what am I supposed to do with you now? The girl gathers her remaining scraps of strength and takes in a deep breath. I know you're angry with me because I ran. I left you in the middle of a fight against the demons. I deserted my duty, but I... It, it was my first real battle against actual demons. She's so scared she can barely think straight. We need to get her out of here. Of course, we are going to help you, Jenna. Sila moves a step forward, but the look in Janna's eyes stops her. Janna starts to speak in a rush of words. It seems like she's reached the limit of her fear. Back home in Mavon, everyone always praised me for my fencing skills. I mainly fenced in tournaments and duels. A couple of times I came up against actual marauders. I even won, I will won every encounter. I always won, and I thought... I thought I'd come to Mendev, join the Crusades, and cover myself in real glory. The truth is, I soon realized I had been a foolish, silly girl. I realized it before the attack on Canabras. But then I met you, Sila, and that changed everything. Everything came so easily to you. You could fall into the caves below Canabras, survive terrible dangers, and then turn around and order a tankard of ale in a tavern like it was nothing. You went on the attack on the Grey Garrison and came back stronger than ever. Now a champion of Iomedes' chosen one. And then there's your motto, no glory without risk. You were the heroine I had always imagined myself to be, and that's why I insisted on going with you after those demons. I wanted to keep up with you to prove I was as good as you, and look where it's led me. 
Janet breaks into racking sobs. Sila looks shaken and distraught. Gritting her teeth, she breaks the lock off the cage. You heard what the commander said, Jenna. You're free to go wherever. And, if it counts for anything, I'm sorry. Off she goes. Let us be off. The crusader in front of you looks terrible. His skin is charred and cracked, oozing blood. Horrible claws are growing from under his nails, tearing them from the from the fingers, and barely controlled madness is flickering in his eyes. The wheezing comes from the knight's bloodied throat, like its throat is like the growl of an animal. Help! In the name of all the gods! Who are you? Gathering all of his strength, the knight gives a short, clipped reply, reporting reporting as he's been trained to do. Crusaders, abducted during the exploratory mission. I am Willard, and this is Thomas. The knight nods at his friend. The latter cannot speak. His pointed teeth are growing without stopping, and they have pierced through his lower jaw, sealing his mouth shut. He is moaning something ferociously, his bloodshot, his bloodshot eyes rolling wildly. Do you know anything about the girl in the other cage? No, they brought her in after. She could barely stand. She was weak from exhaustion. Looked like she hadn't eaten for days. The rocks tossed her in that cell and haven't touched her since. She hasn't talked to us either. How did you get here? The flame of fury is raging in the crusader's eyes. We were exploring the gorge on Anivia's orders and we ran into them. Rocks attacked us, beat us up, and dragged us here. We thought they wanted to eat us. Oh, gods, it would have been better if they had. What they did to you was is horrible. The night stops. A soft, unpleasant sound is heard amidst the silence, the grinding of the crusader's horrific teeth. Finally, the night chokes out a response. We have families, Commander. Save us. What did they do to you? We were put through some hor horrifying ritual. Maybe that's how Aurelio transformed her test subjects. The pain is unbearable, Commander. Like being dipped in boiling water and then dragged over a grater. I saw the abyss. It lunged at me like a wild beast, pouring its vile poison into me. It entered my bones, turning them into molten metal. The Vrock said that I would be their soldier. Thomas and I are far more are far from the first ones they've done this to. I think they made a kind of tunnel through the other through to their cruel world, and the filth gushes in from here there. They pump it into us and make us fight for their side. It pains me to think about it, but a few times I thought that the demons I killed looked like some of my friends. People I thought had died. Now I know what happened to them. To have first-hand knowledge of the subtle influence of the Abyss's emotions, to have endured such a fundamental transportation to remain your sanity, I am truly delighted for you. I even envy you a little. If only I could have a chance to participate in such a groundbreaking experiment. No, Nino, no. What should we do with you now? Help us or kill us, but don't abandon us like this. The pain is unbearable. It's taking over my mind. I'm afraid I will kill someone. Maybe the clerics can cure us. Land stares into Woolard's eyes and then sighs solemnly. They've got the crimson rage demonic pestilence that clouds the mind with unbridled fury. Mongrel infants are sometimes born with this affliction. There's no cure for it, but we do know ways to fight the scourge, to control it. Maybe my kinfolk could help out, help you. Our troubles have a common source. Soziel speaks with unexpected fervor. We must help them. If we truly believe that we can prevent 
or prevail against the world wound's influence on Galorian. That means we must also eradicate it from the bodies of these unfortunates. We have no right to consign these people to a terrible fate, saying, There is nothing that can be done. They are doomed. Every person can be saved. Every person deserves a chance at salvation. Land is right. Go to the mongrels. They will take care of you. The knight looks desperate, but he finds it within himself to give a stout renaud. All right, we'll go to the mongrels and not inflict ourselves on good ordinary folk. There is no need to sow strife in their hearts, but we are still crusaders. If an hour of need should come, you can count on us, Commander. With your permission, Thomas and I will search the vicinity. Now that the Vrocks have been ousted, we need to gather their poor victims. We will make we will make sure they make it to the mongrels. Let's move. Check that out. Loots. More loots. Ooh, magic gloves. Those of arcane eradication. Plus four bonus on range touch attacks and plus five confidence to use magic devices. Well, we know who's getting that. They still get the bonuses on the illusion. Which she casts those shadows magic, so it's still worth keeping. More loots. Look at our journal. Oh, still got that one. It's the last chapter to complete this quest or we'll fail. All right, the Ivy Sanctum. Still don't know how to get in there. Demon's Heresy. Strike the bell. Crescent of the Abyss. We still got to find that guy. Still building the main stables. That's Erebeth. Dragon. Find the missing crusaders. I thought that's what we just did. <sighs> Explore the molten car. Oh, talk to Erebeth. Okay. All right. Well, we can't go any farther this way, so let's head back this direction. We're starting to get exhausted. Random encounter. What is this? A death snatcher. That doesn't seem too pleasant. Didn't overcome the death snatcher and a ghoul cleric. 
this I dedicate Holy crap. Uh, I thought y'all know. That was terrible. Make every strike count. We can do it. <laughs> Fight. The inheritor, guide and my missed blade. on a three. Oh my goodness. We've got no spells. That only helps one person. Yeah, we are out of spells and everything. That's not a good thing. Um, got any good cleric -y? Oh, that's him. Doi. Uh, no good cleric -y looking scrolls here. Move sickness, that's not going to do any good. that in that in That's this on Sila If it's out of spells, ah, so tired. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Gotta kill this thing. No glory without risk. Oh, I should have used my Healy Bobber thing. That's a technical term, Healy Bobber thing. Zap you. Why not both? There we go. You won't survive me. I can't cost it like that. Finish that fight right there and now. Open to ideas. You are my favorite aid. <laughs> Drink 
Hit potions. Get her back on her feet. There we go. That'll be good enough. What? That bad guy had no loot? That's terrible. Follow me. That guy was... He was pretty bad news, man. He just took down Nino like... Nobody's business. That was a snap of my fingers if you didn't hear that. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and rest here. Still, things didn't are ain't too bad in Dresden. It's almost like being in a real city. I just wish the patrol stopped dragging me up in front of Irabeth all the time. It's like I can't walk into a store or take an innocent peek into a warehouse without being suspected of something. Please forgive their prejudice. Everyone is on high alert. But give them time, and they will get used to you and accept you. I like it gives us time to actually read stuff. Hey, we succeed on that. Oh, yeah, we got to change up what we're trying to cook. We're keeping the abyssal con under control. That's good. Oh, we got armies approaching. Oh. Those are probably the approaching armies are the ones that look like that as opposed to the ones that look like little demons. That makes sense. All right. We still got some armies over here. All level seven armies. Uh, we eventually need to get rid of, get rid of all these armies in our background. Oh, that's a level six army. Oh, look at all those big things. Ooh, plus four belt of giant strength, though. That might be kind of cool. All right. Let's take care of some business. All right. Finance Crusade. So that one is finished. Nevia wants to talk to us. So we got to get there for that. Swindlers have started a rumor. Oh, yeah, that's the Crusader thing. Let's see, punish the con artists. Let the con artists be. Make feel the fake charms with real power. Manufacture charms bearing the Crusader, the commander's image, and Crusader themed merchandise. Ah. Uh, maybe we should punish the con artists. False hope begets regret. The commander has prohibited the sale of charms and dispelled the rumors, earning the soldiers respect. They value their commander for his honesty and not for his divine origins. Banner of Conquest. Each... Each capture of a demon fort. Oh, so that so we haven't captured a demon fort in a while, so the banner of conquest is lowish. Bell of Mercy. All units gain the Bell of Mercy feet. Wow, that's nice. Nevia wants to talk to the commander about one of his companions. All right, so we have got um, everything going on. So we've got these two, three more days here, 10 more days there. 
Royal Parade. Fate of Soul Shear. Skilled Craftsman can do some work on this relic. Oh, that's going to take a lot of stuff there. That's... We don't have a lot of that stuff. Finance points income increases by 10% for 30 days. We get extra money. Seven days. Let's go ahead and do that. No one to recruit. Dudes, let's see. What do we got here? Marksman. And Spearman. Those Rangers look better. I mean, the marksmen look like they're better than the archers, but I have 133 archers. Okay, so... They're going to hang out for now while we try to bolster their... their ranks. You... So we got a couple of level four demons we can kill. Uh, there's a level six demon army here. I don't know if we should go after that or not. Let's go clear the road for us coming down. we got here archers light cav yeah, light cav can get anywhere they want all right let's go hit these guys shoot these guys Ooh, lost 33 guys there. That's 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 bad. wasn't what I want. I wanted the heal, not penetrating strike. That was terrible. I mean, my infirmary is still not full, so that's okay. My heel healed them all the way up. Uh, 
right, didn't lose anybody. Got some unidentified bracers. Bracers of heavy hand. Well, maybe they're in the chest or something in the... That could be it. They might be in the chest or something somewhere, like, like in Dresden. Didn't have to worry about the summon unit, okay. Ah, uh, defeating horde of demon, a sort of flying monster swooping from the sky, many crusaders got thinking that the battle tactics they know are not always suited for demon confrontation with every new battle army gains valuable information, okay. All right, now we're gonna come back to this way. that far all right and we are at that hour mark so this would be a good time to call it thank you guys for watching i appreciate it as always i've been sir joseph you guys have been awesome do me a favor leave a comment down below tell me what you think about the game hit the like button hit the subscribe button tell your friends all that fun stuff i appreciate any and all of that stuff that you do for me also stay safe out there and let's level this guy up here, and then we'll call it. As a zealous student, general gains 10 more XP. An additional feat at level, tw level 20. Wow, these generals are going to level up pretty good. Inspiration, ooh, plus 15 morale. Minus 15 morale. Increase the size of the infirmary. Ooh, ooh, XP or infirmary size. I'm going to have to go with the XP, because gain more XP, you level up faster, you level up faster, you get more stuff. All right, do me a favor, stay safe out there. Till next time, I'll talk to you later.